The nation's health care system will get better if Governor Hickenlooper has his way. He and Ohio Governor John Kasich are leading a bipartisan effort to make the care more affordable. The governors want the federal government to restore the subsidies to insurance companies. President Trump had stopped them. They also want more aggressive outreach to help people just sign up for coverage. I think everyone deserves that chance to better health care, but they can't just do it by themselves without the support. It would be like trying to ski down one of our mountains uh, without any boots. Political specialist Sean Boyd is live. And Sean, as we've seen, changing health care is like turning an ocean liner. And Jim, imagine being at the helm of the ship. Maybe no one understands the challenge of health care reform more than State Senator Irene Aguilar, a doctor turned lawmaker who's carried dozens of health care reform bills over her eight years in office. Senator Irene Aguilar looks at health care not only through the eyes of a policymaker, but provider. She's been a primary care doctor for 20 years. People don't realize what's happening and how many, um, I can just call it games that are being played with um, and at the end of the day, their lives. And she says the reforms proposed by Governors Hickenlooper and Kasich do little to change a system where we spend an average of $10,000 per person per year. This is just a bunch of ways of trying to scrape a little bit off here and scrape a little bit off there. And I think if I could wave my magic wand and have one thing, it would be uniformity of pricing. Because our health is priceless, she says the industry can charge whatever it wants. And so regular market forces don't work because the value of the product is infinite. And because most of us don't see the bill, insurance pays, or in many cases, the government. Not that you shouldn't make a good salary and you shouldn't make a profit. But you can take 10, 20 percent on top of that. But we have people taking 5, 10,000 percent on top of that. She's carried bills to prevent prescription price gouging and increase transparency in pricing. Most have failed. The issue partisan, the lobby powerful. Senator Aguilar is term limited this year, but Dr. Aguilar is not giving up. I can take the people rising if I don't think the politicians will be able to do it. There's just too much money. Now, this seven-page plan unveiled by Hickenlooper and Kasich today is also aimed at reducing costs in part by giving states more flexibility when it comes to things like Medicaid. The state legislature is considering work requirements for Medicaid recipients, and the governor said for the first time today he's open to it. He and Kasich will present their plan to Congress later this year. Jim? Sean, we'll see how it goes. Thanks.